My name is Mayumi, and I'm a 28-year-old web designer that works at a design company. Today, I'm supposed to go to the hospital for my monthly checkup, so I took the morning off from work. I'm so glad the condition of my lefts haven't gotten worse. I'm getting used to living life on wheels, and this isn't too bad when you get the hang of things. I injured my legs a year ago when I was involved in a traffic accident. A car drove through a red light at an intersection and came crashing into the pedestrian lane. The car was headed straight for a woman who was walking across the street. So I jumped in to help her get out of the way. She was fine, but I ended up injuring myself badly. Mm. It's this intersection right here. I hate thinking about what happened that day. It still terrifies me. The woman I saved was a college student. She only suffered minor scratches from the accident. But me, on the other hand? Well, I'm going to be stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. But I guess I should consider myself lucky because, after all, I'm still alive. But man, I was devastated for the first few weeks after the accident. I thought my life was over. It took some time for me to accept my new reality, but I had no hate or anger in my heart for the girl that I saved. She was a really kind person, and she visited me every day while I was in the hospital. If I had to rock around as part of my job, I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have blamed that poor girl too. Oh yeah, by the way, her and I are very close friends now, and we often go out to the mall together to shop for clothes. I still have some time before I have to go to work, so I guess I'll kill some time at a cafe before I head to the office. All right, time to get to work. I've got to do some catch-up since I couldn't work this morning. Huh? I thought you had a day off today. This is Akari. She's two years older than me, and she joined the company a little earlier than me. She's a very competent worker and is good at her job, but besides that, there's nothing respectable about her. Well, I took the morning off because I had to go to the hospital to get my legs checked out. But I saw you drinking coffee at the cafe across the street earlier. Well, I had some time before I had to come to work, so I was just killing some time of it there. If you have time, shouldn't you be focusing on your job? I feel like you're lying about having to go to the hospital as well. What? No, I'm not lying. It was my monthly checkup and... Are you sure your legs are still paralyzed? I'm pretty sure you should be able to stand up and walk by now. In fact, I think I saw you walking the other day. Well, I can take a few steps if I hold on to something. But that doesn't mean my legs have been completely healed. I still need my wheelchair to get around. Uh, I doubt that. Oh yeah, we just had a new client come in this morning. So you're going to have to design something for him. Sure. Akari might be two years older than me. But it's not like she's my boss or anything. I don't know why she thinks she has the right to treat me like this. All right, where can I check the files for that? It should be on top of that bookshelf over there. I looked at there earlier and it should still be there. That's when Akari pointed to a bookshelf that was right behind me. It was about two meters tall and there was no way I could reach the file that was sitting on the top shelf while I was on my wheelchair. I was gonna have to try and stand up to grab the file, which I can technically do, but why does she always pick on me like this? All right then. And so I rolled my wheelchair over to the bookshelf and looked for the file she was talking about. I couldn't find it though, so I decided to look further up the bookshelf. Wait, is it that thing over there? The file was sitting on the highest bunk of the shelf and there was no way Akari was able to put that thing there without using a ladder. Who uses a ladder to put away a file that they're going to use later? She definitely did this on purpose, didn't she? But I don't really want to have to use a ladder. I guess I should ask someone for help. But that's when he came in to save the day. Hey, how are you doing, Mayumi? Mr. Satoru, thank God you're here. This is my boss, Mr. Satoru. I think he was around 33 years old. He's always been good to me, ever since I joined the company. And after I had my accident, he's been looking after me to make sure that I don't run into any trouble at work. Are you looking for something? Well, yes. Akari assigned me to a new client, and their information is in that file over there, but I can't reach it. Okay, I'll get it for you. Hold on. 
Mr. Satoru is a pretty tall guy, but even he had to step onto a small box in order to reach the file. Here you go. This is the file you're looking for, right? Yeah, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Let me know if there's anything else you need help with, all right? But anyway, this bookshelf is a bit too tall, isn't it? I'm going to talk to the CEO about it later. You don't have to do that. I feel bad. After I started coming to work in a wheelchair, the company has been making a conscious effort to make the office a barrier-free environment. They set up a slope for me at the entrance, and also built new railings so that I could stand up and take a few steps when I needed to. It's alright. This shelf is getting pretty old anyway. And even I had a hard time reaching things. This isn't a library, so we don't need to have shelves in here that reach the ceiling. And it's a good thing that we're making the office more barrier-free. The CEO said that he's ought to thank you for giving him new ideas to make this place more inclusive. Well, I really appreciate the effort. After I had my accident, I feel like I've gotten the chance to get to know my coworkers better. Most of them have been super considerate and understanding. And I can't thank them enough for supporting me like this. Is there anything else you're worried about or you need help with? I'll do my best to help. Well, now that I have you here, I've been meaning to switch the layout of my desk, but I'm having a hard time moving the computer and monitor around because I can't stand up on my feet. Oh, in that case, let me help you out right now. And so, Mr. Satoru helped me change the layout of my desk. So, how does this look? Are you satisfied? I am. Thank you very much. No worries. Let me know if you need anything else, all right? Yes, sir. And when Mr. Satoru left my table, Akari, whose desk is right next to mine, started complaining about me again. <sighs> Why are you wasting Mr. Satoru's time? I'm sure you could have carried those things by yourself. If that was the case, I would have just rearranged my desk on my own. You're trying to make other people feel bad for you, aren't you? You're so desperate to get their attention, it's pathetic. Do you really think people are buying into your little act? That's not what I'm trying to do. I wish the CEO would stop wasting money on trying to make this place accessible and give it to us as a bonus instead. So you think you could do this for me, Mayumi? I'm sorry. I don't think I can get it done by the end of the day. I'm really sorry. Should I do it instead then? Huh. But I thought you had like three clients you were going to meet with today. I do, but I think I can still manage a bigger workload. You need this done by the end of the day, right? I do. Thank you so much. I'm counting on you. <sighs> I can't believe how incompetent you are. But honestly, that's a plus for me because people respect me more now thanks to you. I... God. It's not like I want to waste my time going to the hospital every other week. I wish I could spend more time at the office, but... That's when I realized I was making excuses for myself. No, that's just an excuse I made up to justify myself. Back when I was still healthy, I told myself that it was alright that Ayumi was better at her job than me because she joined the company earlier than I did. I can't blame my condition for my incompetence. I was just trying to protect myself from negative emotions by finding random excuses. Alright, I've made up my mind now. I'm not going to make up any excuses for myself anymore. Who cares if I'm on a wheelchair? Who cares if I'm unexperienced? I've got to work extra and make sure that I become a strong asset for the company. I'm not going to run away from my weaknesses anymore. And so, from that day on, I started studying after work every day to refine my skills and become a better web designer. But today, I'm at the shopping mall. Wow, this dress is so pretty. This is Yuka. She just turned 23, and she graduated college and started working earlier this year. She's the girl that I saved when I was involved in my accident. I think that dress will look really good on you. Are you sure? Well, I think I'm gonna go and try it out. All right, go ahead, the dressing room is right over there. Let me know if you need any help with anything. And don't be afraid to open the curtain in case of an emergency. I don't care if you see me naked, so. I don't think I'll have to do that, but thanks. <laughs> Yuka is a kind girl, so I bet she still feels bad about what happened to me. I've told her many times that she didn't have to worry about me, but I guess that hasn't really helped. And I can't really blame her for that. Because I would feel the same way if I was in her shoes. But still, Yuka has been really good to me ever since I was involved in the car accident. So I think of her as a good friend. God, can't you see you're in the way? Oh, uh, sorry. W wait, what the- Akari! Is that you? Oh, hello. 
But anyway, you need to get out of the way. Sorry. Uh, huh? Mayumi? Takeshi? What? You guys know each other. Takeshi was my boyfriend when I had my accident. He came to see me at the hospital once, but I haven't seen him since then. He stopped replying to my messages as well, and I'm pretty sure that he blocked my number. Technically, we never broke up with each other, but I think it's fair to say that we're no longer together. Why didn't you reply to any of my messages? I was busy, all right. I get that, but your girlfriend was in the hospital. I don't blame you for not visiting me every day, but you still could have called me or something. Well, I did come and see you at the hospital once, remember? When I saw you in that wheelchair, I just lost all interest in you. I mean, I can't keep on dating you when you can't even walk. We wouldn't have been able to go on any dates. You bastard. <laughs> it's okay, she's right. You guys better knock it off right now. That's when Yuka returned from the fitting room and joined the conversation. Huh? Who the hell are you? Mayumi got injured saving my life. I'm the reason she's in a wheelchair right now. Instead of making fun of her, why don't you guys make fun of me, huh? Huh? I can't believe you guys are still hanging out with each other. She's the reason you can't walk anymore for crying out loud. But look at you, all healthy and abled body. She must be real jealous of you. It, it's fine. I can take her wherever she wants to go. Wherever she wants to go? I doubt that. When's the last time you left the city, Minami? I bet you can't even go on trips anymore. No more planes, no more traveling overseas, no more vacations. What a sad, sad life. I, I will take her wherever she wants to go. You? With your li tiny little brain and weak, thin arms? How are you going to pay for things, huh? You're just pretending like you know what you're doing, but you don't. You just want people to think you're a good person. No, that's not true. But honestly, you guys are perfect for each other. One of you wants others to feel bad for her, and the other wants to impress people with her generosity. It's a match made in heaven. Stop. I was the one that invited her to come with me to the mall today. And you're never going to let her forget about what she did to you, huh? You're just going to keep on reminding her and making her feel like crap. That's not... We are very close friends, and I know her family very well, too. <sighs> Let's go eat, Akari. I'm starving. Yeah, I shouldn't waste my time on these losers. They're not worth it. And so before I could say anything, the two left the store in a hurry. I'm really sorry about the Yuga. That guy is my ex-boyfriend, and that woman... Well, she's one of my co-workers. No, it's alright. I'm fine, but... I, I'm so sorry about what I did to you. None of this would have happened if you didn't have to save me that day. You would probably still be with your boyfriend, too. What are you talking about? I'm glad I broke up with him. Now I know that he's a terrible person, and I would have regretted it if I had married him. And besides, I was able to meet you through the accident, so not everything about it was terrible. But anyway, I'm hungry now, too. Let's go and eat something good, shall we? Mayumi, thank you so much. And that night, Yuka and I were joined by her parents, and we enjoyed a full-course French dinner together. They told me that they were forever indebted to me, and that they would spend the rest of their lives trying to repay it. But honestly, they've already done more than enough. Yuka's family have been really generous, and they've taken good care of me ever since the accident. My parents live far away, so they help me out whenever I need someone to go grocery shopping with me or mow the lawn for me. And after they helped me move into a barrier-free apartment building, they started paying for my rent. They even brought me along on one of their family trips the other day. Sure, I might not be able to use my legs anymore, but I'm more than happy with the quality of life that I have now. Ugh. I wish you were really my sister. <laughs> you really love Mayumi, don't you, Yuka? That means a lot. Thank you. And you can come and visit us whenever you like. Oh yeah, I want to ask. How do you feel about our son? He's a good lad, isn't he? He couldn't come today, but he said he was dying to see you again. Oh, come on, honey. She deserves way better than our son. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. That was a stupid question. No, it, it's not stupid at all. I'm actually pretty close with Yuka's brother, and to tell you the truth, I think I'm in love with him. 
but I don't think I'll ever be able to marry anyone. I'm going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life, and I don't want him to waste his time on me. Masasashi was right when he said that we wouldn't even be able to go on any dates together. Am I ever going to find someone that's right for me? Probably not. And that night, when I went to bed, I cried a little thinking about how lonely I was going to be for the rest of my life. Next Monday. Ugh, I don't want to see Akari again. I've always hated seeing her at work, but I particularly don't want to see her today. Oh, hey, my human. How are you doing? What? Did you just call me my human? I did. This is what Takeshi used to call you when you guys were still dating, right? Um, I think so. But man, I don't know that you guys used to be together. What are the chances, huh? I don't know it and I don't care. I'm not going to waste my time thinking about him. Oh, come on. You don't have to act so tough, you know. I've been meaning to ask you this, but why do you even like that guy? He's handsome. That's all I care about, really. <sighs> well... I guess you guys are perfect for each other, though. And after that, Akari spent the entire day picking on me and bullying me. But I did my best to stay focused on my work and to not let her distract me. Hey, you need to go and see this client. But you were assigned to that client, and besides, my hands are full right now. But I'm sure you can handle it. All right, see ya. And that's when Akari headed over to Mr. Satoru's desk. I guess Akari really likes Mr. Satoru because she always tries to strike up a conversation with him. She's currently dating a bunch of men, but I'm sure she has her eyes set on Mr. Satoru. Mr. Satoru, is there anything I can help you with? Huh? Did he not hear me? Hello? What's going on? Mr. Satoru doesn't have any earphones on, so he should be able to hear Akari talking to him. Why is he ignoring her? Hey, Mr. Satoru, please don't ignore me. You're making me sad. So you're going to help me, huh? That's right. I'll do anything. So what? You want me to think that you're a helpful person? Is that it? What? What do you mean? You're trying to curry a favor with me, aren't you? You're pathetic. I don't understand. That's basically what you told my sister yesterday, right? Your sister? I don't know what you're... A few months ago... Mayumi saved my sister's life when she was about to be ran over by a runaway car. Wait, what? That was your sister? And that's right. Mr. Sataru was actually Yuka's older brother. What are the chances? I found out about this insane coincidence when Mr. Satoru came to visit me at the hospital. That's right. She was furious when she came home last night. She said some old hag yelled at her. She, she called me an old hag? <laughs> Well, Yuka's still young, so I can see why she would say that about you. Hold on! You told me that you were close to that girl's family, right? Yep. Then, then have you hung out with Mr. Satoru outside of work before? Of course. He often drives me around in his car on the weekends. You're kidding me, right? I haven't told anyone at work yet, but I'm tired of you harassing my Yumi and my sister. I'm not gonna let you walk all over them anymore. Th this is just a big misunderstanding. But that's when... Nope. It's not a misunderstanding. What? Oh my god, you're the girl from yesterday. Yuka, why are you here? That's not important right now. But anyway, this person sucks. Yeah, you can say that again. A crowd was starting to form around us and people were listening in on our conversation. Akari tried to get out of the situation by making excuses for herself. But eventually, she gave up on trying to save face and said this. I was just telling her the truth. Her wheelchair was in the way, all right? She's not better than the rest of us just because she's in a wheelchair. Sure, I might have been in the way, but you didn't have to talk to me like that. Your presence alone is annoying, and I would prefer it if you stayed inside your house all day. I don't have to say this, but you basically take up as much space as Mayumi. You're not even on a wheelchair. What? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that's true. I have to take up space because I can't use my legs. But what's your excuse? You're just fat. Good one, Mayumi. You bastards! Why are you even here in the first place? <sighs> Miss Yuka, I'm really sorry about what this employee said to you. No, don't worry about it. Uh, sir, have you been here this entire time? Yes, I have. But man, I am disappointed in you. 
Sir, on second thought, I don't think I want to do business with you guys anymore. Uh, no, please! Wait, how do you guys know each other? Well, that's because I'm a CEO myself. A what? I'm the CEO of a clothing brand called Money Town. Money Town? I've heard of them before. They're super famous. Well, we did make over $100 million last year, so... No way! That's right. Yuka is the CEO of Money Town, a company she started when she was still in college. So if I wanted to, I could take Mayumi anywhere in the world. I could probably take her to space, too. <sighs> Losing this deal will be devastating for our company. Yuka, come on. Do it for me, all right? Fine. But I want Mayumi to design our website for us. Uh, wait, what? Me? That's right. We're revamping our website. And we want you to design the new version for us. Hold on. I'm a better web designer than her. I'm the one that should be designing your website. Ugh, are you stupid? I don't want you anywhere near my business. And besides, I checked all your portfolios, and Mayumi's work stood out to me the most. Really? Yep. And you recently won a designer's award, didn't you? Yeah, you've been working really hard lately. I've been super impressed with your work. And that's why I want you to design our website. Are you sure about this? I'm so glad I worked hard to refine my skills. It was all worth it. But, but I have a better track record, and my resume is... This is why I don't like talking to people like you. I don't care about your resume. And besides, you've been stealing other people's work, haven't you? What? what When I looked through your portfolio, I noticed that you've plagiarized other people's work before. Uh, I can't believe it! How could you steal other people's work? That's a big no-no in this industry. No! I never stole anyone's work! I know which artwork you're talking about! The drawing of the flower that I made came first! Someone else stole my work from me. A flower? I never said anything about a flower. B -b -b you dug your own grave there, didn't you? You violated our company's policy. And we're going to discuss what to do with you in the coming days. In the meantime, you don't have to come to work. B -b 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 but sir! And from that day on, Akari stopped coming to work. But I was able to gain a new, huge client through this incident. Eventually, Akari was allowed to start coming to work again, but she no longer works here as a designer. She was rehired as a janitor. And now she spends most of her day cleaning up after others. She quit her job a few weeks later, but I doubt she'll be able to find another job in this industry anytime soon. Well, she had it coming to her. I bet she regrets saying those things to us now. Oh yeah, and my ex-boyfriend is now in a lot of debt because a bunch of people sued him after they found out that he was having an affair with their partners. I'm so glad I was able to break up with him. And today, I'm having dinner with Yuka, Mr. Satoru, and their parents. I'm so glad I asked you to design our new website for us. Our customers have been loving it so far. I'm really proud of you, Mayumi. I bet she's bringing in more money for the company now than you. I don't know about that. Really? You don't need her to put food on the table for you. Hey! Oh, shoot! Huh? Hey, Satoru! Man up! Tell her how you feel! Uh, okay, Mayumi, I really like you. And I was wondering if you wanted to go out with me sometime. What? I couldn't believe it. Is he actually asking me out right now? And in front of his family, too? But I'm on a wheelchair, so you're gonna have to take care of me, and that's a bit... Don't worry about that. And even if you reject me... My family and I will continue supporting you. That's right. So if you don't like him, then reject him. Sh shut up, Mom. But it would sure be amazing if you ended up as my sister-in-law. Oh, well, in that case, I would love to go out with you, Mr. Satoru. Thank you. No, thank you. 
And a year later, we got married. I've lost a lot of things because of the accident. But I also gained a lot as well. I want to make sure I keep on staying positive to create a bright future with my new family.